Hey there, Burberries. What's up? And welcome to a near-death experience in Satisfactory. Today, we're going to be gathering bushes. If you've been following along, you'll know that I uh, am not very uh, good at playing the game properly, and that's okay. That's what makes this series great, and uh, we're going to continue with the chaos. As you can see, some expansions have been made. So I told you I was going to fill in that green space. Well, I did fill in that green space. And we have a new occupant that is uh, seemingly probably stuck on all the different conveyors belts oh no he's just walking all over them it doesn't matter so if we wiggle our way on through here whoo and there we go and i'm starting to get better at navigating our mess here so these guys they're creating plates and uh, i've got four of them set up and uh, they're definitely uh um let's see here sometimes i forget the best way to navigate and you know we're making actually a good amount uh, i've been finagling with trying to make things just the slightest bit better in terms of uh, production levels but you can see i haven't done the math quite yet yeah and additionally because uh the copper wire bin is full we now have some uh, production of some copper wiring uh i guess this is like copper coils or something i don't remember what that's called what is it called cable making cable that's what it's called so i've expanded just because we had excess might as well you utilize it a little bit better also had to expand our our storage over there of the rods and things and what better way to do that than just building a whole new set of storage bins that just flow directly into one another it's not like we don't have enough already and speaking of these are filling up quite fast i mean look at all the stuff that we have I've increased the rate of all the belts, uh, and so we're really starting to get there, I think. But you can tell by the desolate wasteland that is up on that hill and down here, I have been gathering quite a bit of uh, wood and things to burn uh, for fuel. And uh, that's something we are addressing today. We need coal power. I have unlocked it, and we're going to be getting it today because I want some uh, power that is relatively sustainable because this ain't cutting it so with most of these bad boys filled up let's go and find some coal oh only a measly 700 1000 1000 okay we're going to 700 and why in the world would we walk there let's get some tractor action going uh, 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 uh. While we wait, we also have this weird thing called the Awesome Shop, and I'm not really sure what it is, but I think it needs to be up here on the hill overseeing everything. Oh, it's just microtransactions. Thanks, Fix It. What in the heavens is this? We need 10 tickets. How do you get tickets? Oh, it's dark. Holy crap. Good thing I've got my trusty flashlight. Okay, I imagine you get tickets using this here, Awesome Sink. Yes, coupons for the Awesome Shop. And I know just where to put it. What do you mean it's too steep? You know, I don't think the awesome sink could look any more awesome. With 1% happening every five seconds, we'll get to 10 in no time. Now I know what you're thinking. How do you know where things are going? All I can tell you is I know they lead, all roads lead to the awesome sink. Do I know how to make heads or tails as to what is going where? I did at the beginning, but I have since lost all knowledge of what's happening oh yeah yeah that looks like a smart machine right there with the space elevator also right there that is what we need we don't need foundations here <gasps> i forgot to hook one up i'll remedy that now i did make a new game for myself so that launches us here looks like we can probably aim ourselves uh, but let's see what happens uh when we do this huzzah are we going to oh gosh we are not gonna make it well, that didn't go according to plan. Round two. Round three. Oh, gosh. Round... Oh, I forget. Here we go. Just short. Ah. Yes. Well, that's not a good sound. Boy, have I not missed this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who do I need to test this on? You looked at me funny the other day. 
Oh my gosh, this thing is so much better than the, uh, the Xeno Zapper. Well, all right then, let's go get coal. Okie dokie, tractor boy. Let's get going. Oh yeah, there we go. We're really going now to the coal. And yes, I've already been down here and made this a desolate wasteland. And yes, we're gonna be doing this one different. There's still gonna be some chaos in some of the conveyor belts, but because this is gonna be like our main energy source, and that is where I am bottlenecking all the time to be able to do the fun, silly things, I'm gonna try to make this actually semi-efficient, even if it looks insane. All right, I think eight of these is gonna do. Now, what do we need? Water and coal. Okay, we've got the coal sorted. Come here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What in the world do you think you're doing standing on my, sh my machines like that? Get her out of here. Get out. One day I'll get you. All right, I've done. I've actually done a lot of work. And uh, this is probably to, to you, you're probably looking at this like this is way too organized. What's happening? Why is it so good looking? It's going to be moderately organized looking. Uh, we're going to add some flavor to it um but for the majority of this area i i'd like to keep it fairly organized uh and then we're gonna just do some silly fun things that i want to experiment around with i've upgraded the miners so these are two tier two miners now uh producing 120 coal and uh, we also got the uh tier three conveyor belts going uh, which is great right now i've got a truck set up transporting coal back and forth just because i thought it was a cool mechanic uh, i haven't turned these on yet oh i guess we ran out of power <laughs> um, but this is going to be something that we will be taking part in here in a sec huh So my big question is, what happens when a car, when it, like the tractor, what happens when the tractor meets meets the uh, the launch pad? Does anything actually happen? Oh, it does. Oh, and it, it definitely sends us. All right, that gives me an idea. Give me one moment. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh gosh. Oh, we've been launched. Oh, nothing fun happened. Darn, we didn't link up. There we go. We're going to hit the other one. Uh oh. Oh, we did it. Uh oh. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Note the self. Don't drive the truck into water. Okay, well, this will tell us if this stuff is actually going to work or not. It's alive! Well, this is not at all what I was expecting to happen. So this game has these things called hypertubes, which apparently are some form of transportation thing for us. So let's check out and see what in the world they are. I've I've never really uh, seen much use from them. So let's see what. OK, so it's just a tube. Can you? Oh, wait, if I clip into the what the you jerk. OK, so I guess we can clip into the ground. What is this? So this is, oh, it's going to need power. All right, one moment. Okay, we got power. Okay, so it creates like an air, uh, it opens up based on our, oh, that's kind of fun. Okay, so what happens when we get approach it? Oh, oh you can launch yourself. Oh, okay. Now, if I put an entrance here. Okay, so my question is, the higher up you are, do you gain speed and get launched higher? Like this launches us fairly decently high and it's like a small angle. What happens? What happens when you're going from really high? Like this is moderately high, not super high. Okay, you can get caught and oh, you do get sent higher. Okay, we need to do more testing. I think this is probably high enough to see if uh, the higher you are, the higher you fly. So uh, let's give it a go. 
Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, this requires more testing. Okay, I may have gone a little bit crazy with the... Excuse me? Automation is killer. I may have been on a little crazy with the hyper dupes. Uh, I made a, a fun way for us to get from here over to our uh, our coal zone. Uh, without further ado, let's go. So we go up here and uh, it's like not that bad. Oh my gosh, we're dropping. And yeah, we're going to be in a theme park land of pipe hopping. And oh my gosh, it's all I haven't seen this with the ocean beneath us or the lake or whatever. I've had foundations underneath me, so I have no idea if this is actually going to legitimately work so far. So good. We're launching and I cannot tell you how long it took me to line these proper things up because you have to like do them one by one and you can't <laughs> you can't test them out without testing all of them out because your momentum is like saved throughout. So all of them feed into one another and it, every little movement is critical. Like right there, I kept hitting my face and I eventually got it to work out. This one was a little crazy. A little, I'm not really sure where we're going. Oh my gosh, okay. And then we bounce, ricochet off there, go up here, bounce through there, launch here. We're getting getting close. We're making our way up the tower now. And now you may be thinking to yourself, how are we going to get the rest of the way? Well, you see that slime thing over there? We're going towards it by using gravity. But we have to get all the way up here or else we don't have enough momentum to be able to make it. So here we go. And I'm just not going to, I'm just going to gently rest. Doesn't look like we're going to make it, does it? Yeah, but we do. Isn't that just silly nonsense fun? Now, this is a pipe to get all the way back up there. Um, I don't know. There's a connection I have not tested at all. Um, the truck essentially kept running into the pipe. It runs into that pipe and gets knocked off, but eventually it does that weird ghost thing and it like suddenly gets back on its path. But it kept like getting stuck up there and not doing the ghost thingy. So I've made a change and I, I genuinely don't really know if this is gonna actually work, but when playing with hyper tubes, anything is possible. Like clipping through the ground is possible. Clipping through trees is possible. Nausea is very possible. And here comes the test. Okay, not quite high enough, but hey, look at there. Hmm. This is not what I intended to happen. Ah, there we go. And then this is the second leg that takes us all the way back. But of course we can't just go straight back. We have to go under the world and just really just cheat the game a little bit. And I didn't think this through. Uh, we're definitely dead. But it's okay because we're right here. So as much fun the theme park down there is, I don't want to do this every single time because it takes roughly the same amount of time to do that as it does to run the entire ways all the way down. <laughs> So instead, I have made an expedited thrill ride right here. And if I just absolutely do nothing, woo, we're going to make it there in absolutely no time. So long as things go according to plan. And they do. So I think that's going to have to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the nonsense that has happened. Yes, we have brought order to chaos but it has ensued more chaos. And so with chaos comes more chaos, even in the order. We shall marry them because por qué no los dos? You know, as they say in the old taco shell conundrum, why not have both? So I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Satisfactory where we're going to complete phase two on the space elevator and potentially take hypertubes all the way to space. So I'll see you there. Uh, bye bye.